So accessing the data is a challenge. Um, understanding uh, the complexity of, uh, of these systems and uh, having expert thinking of what are the, the important parameters, the important variables that are going to impact um, an event like cascaded failure is another one. So both the theory work and the data adaptation are both challenges in this work. None of these problems are easy. Uh, they're, the, the, the options for modeling and interconnection of banks, is, uh, the, the options are huge. And you really need some expert thinking to understand what you believe the variables that have the most impact are. And um, in the financial system, uh, it's a little more complicated, say, than an engineered system. I would imagine, for example, that a transportation system will be the easiest system to work with because the, there are no surprises in what happens in the physical system. We can model it, we can model it to a very high degree. We have people who've been working on these problems for many years. There are surprises how people will behave, but there are no surprises in the physical layer. Well, I think in, in financial institutions, there are surprises everywhere. Surprises in creditors and how we lend money, but there are also surprises on how these agents, the banks, work with each other and what decisions they make. All the decisions that are being made are strategic in nature. And as a result, you know, you can regulate one part of the system, but then the system or the strategic players can push the system some other way. And you kind of have to understand that trade-off, and that requires theoretical work in this area deep thinking about these kinds of interconnections. So both are challenges. None of these problems are easy. But we need to be able to create enough uh, models that are general in nature that will allow us to begin to think about what may be happening. Uh, and so the work that is happening today and it's been happening for the past five to ten years, I would say, is really important in, in understanding the future of these kinds of interconnections. We are close uh, in uh, understanding how transportation systems work and uh, we have developed good theoretical models that combine decisions by people and decisions on the ground, physical decisions, to assess the risk aspect and in some level, although the data that has been tested is stale data, it's, it's past data, not current data, but with the data that we used, these models and these kinds of thinking that we've developed seem to be plausible and correct. So we made quite a bit of headway. Now we are at a point of saying, if this, these types of models make a lot of sense, why don't we use them for synthesis, for design? So let's begin to think about creating the correct incentives and creating the correct the control strategies. So we made headway in the transportation area. There's been a lot of other, other interesting work outside my research program where people have looked at data from financial systems and, and, and got some interesting qualitative insight of when cascades may occur. But it, it tends to be more historical than futuristic in the sense that looking at what happened in the uh, 2009, 2008, 2009 crisis and, and saying this model can explain what happened at that time. But we haven't seen models that have predictive power yet and that's I think up and coming and I think the research is, is very active in that area and our institute, the Institute for Data Systems and Society has focused, has taken uh, financial risk as a flagship problem to work on and we have a collective of, of faculty who are very interested in that problem.